Hello guys, it's Pap from Pap back at it again and this could be the video that will lead you to the Red Eyes Wick. So now as you may have seen from the thumbnail, this is not in a complete new idea. I've already brought this on the channel but uh, at that time I didn't have access to Red Eyes Fusion because Red Eyes Fusion uh, is a card that you can obtain by uh, buying the Extracted decks. And for all of you that, for those of you that actually follows me constantly, you should know, you could remember actually that I bought these extractors um, because there was an insane offer. I think it was back in August. We had these extractor decks at a couple of dollars each, and I decided to spend f five bucks to. Uh, by the Red Eyes Tractor, so I'm just having fun and I said that this could be Red Eyes Week because I have a couple of ideas, one is, um, uh, another one is uh, already ready uh, but I'm gonna show you in the into an, uh, another video of course, in the, to the next one maybe so today we have Dark Cavalry, just you know, that spicy anti-meta that um, all of us love and before jumping right into the decklist, guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it, and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So here, of course, with the with Joy Wheeler, and just a little disclaimer right here, guys, uh, the skill you have to use, if maybe my games load, there you go, is... Red Eyes Fusion. <clears throat> now, for all who do not know what it does, Red Eyes Fusion is pretty easy. You need to lo you need to have 24,000, uh, uh, 2400 life points or below. You can just return one Red Eyes card from your hand uh, on one Red Eyes Black Dragon from your graveyard to your deck, and you can add one Red Eyes Fusion from your deck to your hand. So it's pretty nice. But at the moment, I was testing the deck and. Um, and playing with it, I didn't have access to this skill. I didn't, um, uh, I didn't unlock that. So uh, you will see the replays with attack charge. Just you know, as just to bring something with the with the skill, you know. <clears throat> Sorry. And but of course, this is the skill you have to use, and the deck will become even stronger. Now this is the deck list, as you can see. We've got a bunch of stuff. Um, so let's start from the extra deck that is just so good. Uh, we've got. Dark Cavalry, of course, the main boss, um, just so good. I, I, I think I don't have to explain what it does and why it's so good. Then we've got Red Eyes Last Dragon. That is like, in my opinion, a weaker Dark Cavalry. He has a boost as Dark Cavalry, but it's actually a, a worse boost. He's got negation, but it's, you know, it's more difficult to bring out because you need to attack first uh, to have an equip card, you know, and that because you to negate to negate a card effect, you need to send one equip card you control to the grave. So that's kind of, you know, a little bit more difficult. Difficult. And then we've got, look at that, we've got Millennialize Restrict just to negate random's effect even from the graveyard. That's just so good and we can actually bring out this guy because we've got the uh, King of the, of the Swamp and the, the Dark Axial Fusion that count as Relinquish it. And because we've got Dragon Tide Monster, I'm talking about Red Eyes Slash Dragon and Red Eyes Black Dragon of course, I've, I've actually put in the Buster Bladed, Buster Bladed, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman, so it can be pretty good, it's situational, but it's just some extra person damage, and of course if you just meet a blue eyes white dragon or anything that relies on dragons, you can just bring this guy out as an, an unexpected move and just, you know, lock him into into randomness, that's just so good. Do you actually see a replay on that? I'm, I think I met a blue eyes white dragon player, it was so good. Um, shifting to the deck list, we've got it, it is you know, it's pretty clear, it's standard. I've got the triple red dice fusion, um, even though we play a couple of red dice black dragon, but thanks to the skill. This is some uh, something we could do because we can just recycle our dice black dragon from the graveyard to the deck. Uh, then we've got, of course, the, the couple that are just enough. A uh, couple of polymerization. Why? Because we do play Blazeman, the usual combo, Blazeman and five um, uh, substitute materials. So both 
King of the Swamp and Axial Diffusion can count as any monster as long as it listed, uh, uh, you know, specifically on a fusion card. So it can, uh, it, they both can count as a Relinquished, they can count as a Red Dice Black Dragon, they can count as a Boss Blade, and they can count as a Dark Magician as well. And then we've got Blazon because simply on summon he will let us add Polymerization, so it's just so good because uh, with Red Eyes Fusion and all the other cards as well, it help us thin the deck. And then last but not least, I, I did need to add something among the summon limited cards. I could have gone for the Kydroid, but I thought that, I know, it was just too situational and actually I need something for that rough matchup for something you do not expect and you cannot go over. Boom! Amazon or Zooman, you can just special summon her back from the graveyard with the effect of a dice slash dragon, and you can just swing into your opponent's monster and make them take the damage. So it's just so easy, it's you know a, a side combo that can actually win you duels unexpectedly. So it's so good. And then, last but not least, actually it's the main card, it's, I think I can say it's the best trap card, my most favorite trap card, <laughs> Necrofusion. This thing is just, I don't know how to say it, it's just so good. You, and with Necrofusion, of course, you can summon all of this uh, in your opponent's turn, whenever you need it. Uh, so, uh, especially the combo Necrofusion plus Millennium Eyes Restrict, it's so good. You can just bring this out and negate one opponent's monster and actually sucking it up. Um, also, against a, dra a, a Dragon player, you can just bring out a Buster Blade. And if I'm not wrong, there's a replay that you're gonna see where I just did this Necrofusion plus Buster to, to summon a Buster Blade. And my opponent was just, what? Was just so good so guys this is a lot of fun um it was just so easy to climb from platinum rank 6 to legend rank 1 the rank that i am right now so that was all for the explanation and we can jump right into the replays here we go my boys first replay against um tea we've got so let's see what we got the cards of constants and this was a blue eyes white dragon deck so sage from the end send the bulb to the grave and have a couple of blue eyes to begin with so pretty you know strong so turn one maybe a little bit weaker in defense because he's got no drop and no back rows but we've got what we need right here we've got um, red eyes uh, actually first the effect to add a poly and thin the deck and then red eyes slash dragon to summon actually red eyes fusion sorry to summon the red eyes slash dragon i can just swing in right now because i've got a talk charge in this case of course guys it's just you know it was just a, um, a skill because i didn't have red eyes fusion so um i swing in and i had my amazon sword zoom in ready to be summoned as um, the Red Eyes Slash Dragon gets destroyed by Battle or Card Effect, so it's nice. Uh, Sage again to summon the, the Speed of White to banish the Amazons, so I decided to negate that because I do not want my Amazons to be banished. So, uh, he attacked of course, actually he decided, he decided to go with Dragon, and now this is the Spice Necrofusion, but I've got a Dragon and a Substitute Material, so look at that, because what he wanted to do was to take control of my Red Eye Slash Dragon, so as soon as I noticed that, boom, <laughs> Buzz the Blade, the Dragon Destroyer, put them in defense, no effect, <laughs> and that's how you do it guys, he's just stuck, he can't do anything. Then also a Millennium is restricted just in case he's got something, you know, uh, as an end trap and swinging in, there you go, that's just so easy. That unexpected play uh, actually brought me the win, there you go. Interrupting a rank up. Uh, these were Ill Evil Heroes, if I'm not wrong, and I actually had not a so good hand because, you know, as a first turn one with no trap, with no backcross, with actually nothing, uh, Red Dice slash Dragon is not that good because he cannot negate anything because we can't attack, we can't keep anything, and it's just stuck, it's just a yellow uh, beater. Uh, so Stratus to begin with adding the Adusted Gold, discarding him to have the Dark Calling, then Sinister Calling to send the Necrom to the grave, and Special Summon a Malicious Edge, a couple of back rows, uh, actually three back rows, and it's done. Uh, we didn't get lucky, actually, because we just draw another King of the Swamp, useless in this moment. Uh, 
So there you go, another Red Eye Slash Dragon is coming, sending the other Amazons to the grave. Uh, he's got the Mascot change to summon the Blast and have the attack, but that's fine because look at that. Um, I knew it. I attack, I knew that he's going to use the effect to um, uh, to make one of my back rows come back to hand, but he forgot that that effect actually targets. So, look at that, both my guys got equipped, he uses the effect, I can just pop that. There you go. So, negation and I can just attack, and then attacking with the other one, I just recover my equip, so I'm more than chilling, we got a couple of negation right there. He's got Dark Calling, and this is one of the or those duels when the Amazon Sword Zoman comes actually in handy. Because as you can see right now, he can, I, I actually do not know why he didn't pop any of this, but that's fine. So he decided to have to go with Dark Calling, uh, but now the point is that... I can just summon my Amazon Sword Zooman. He, he made a good play by destroying it with Stratus, but then I can just swing in. If he has got nothing, I can just attack and I'm chilling. So now you need to understand that his main problem is his own malicious fiend. <laughs> so that, that's the, the, the thing. So there you go, just putting in attack position, attacking with the Dark Slash Dragon. He decided to negate, but that's fine because I can just negate that so that I can just uh, keep one other um, uh, uh, straight from the grave to my uh, equip sloth. There you go, the Dark Slash Dragon effect activates, bringing out the Sword Zoom and attacking, and he takes the damage. That's how you do it, my boy. It's just so fun. There you go. Shark with actually one of the top tier decks. This is a uh, water fish actually and guys keep an eye on this because this um, This duel was a full of misplay uh, by my side actually and But you can learn a lot from this. So let's see what he's got. He's got a first turn with the full combo He's got the diva summoning the infantry then infantry letting him summon another monster another normal summon then the reader of the shark to go into the first abyss wheeler that can pop a monster because he can just detach the infantry and pop a face up card then he's got the um uh, the silent angler for the second xc summon this guy this time is we're talking about the hound shark that can detach and special summon a rank three then uh Summoning full, full armored black ray lancer, so he's got a full board of B guys and actually a pop in my turn I need to be uh, careful about that. I just got this now my um, My only actually um, Out this is to summon the buster blader that we know is going to be popped and You should think okay, just don't do it but we do, and actually summoning the Buster Blader is so good because he's gonna provide me a warrior type monster in the grave, and that's all we need. So there you go, attacking of course, I'll be Swiller to use the effect and, and then infantry to pop my Buster Blader. Now I've got a Buster Blader and a King of the Swamp, so I have access to Dark Cavalry, but I let the Bahamut Shark attack because making my calculation, Dark Cavalry would have had exactly 3100. So I let him attack with Bahamut Shark and that's fine, and then as soon as he attacks with the other one, Necrofusion comes in play, boom, Dark Cavalry and he's just stuck. He can't do anything. Now we're chilling because we just need to get rid of this and the boost goes away and now we are bigger than Bahamut Shark. So there you go. I can just keep this in hand just in case I need to negate something and we're chilling. So it just ends this turn and now I'm, I'm about to make a misplay because what I do not need to do is to free his lot and let him XC summon once again, so I actually should have waited for it for another monster But instead I didn't wait because now the problem we need to be aware of what the problem can be and the problem actually right here is the spider shark why because spider shark Lowers my attack points and it does not target so the recovery is weaker and we need to Think about that. So there you go, another monster king of the swamp to have the poly just to thin the deck. And then I made the mistake, I attacked, and now he's got the chance. But I was lucky first turn. Why? Because he's got the Baha the Bazo Shark and Bazo Shark to summon another monster from the deck. He, he needs to target the monster on the field. And I can just negate that with Zakavari. So I was lucky right here, but um 
uh, and as he was not enough Okay, let's just activate ne Necrofusion right here to summon another Dark Cavalry, but um, as this was not enough, I made the same misplay once again. So, attack charge, um, attacking directly. Now, guys, I have lethal, but I forgot that this thing can detach your materials not to be destroyed. I forgot that and I decided not to negate that. So, not negating that, I lose my lethal and he's still alive. So, this was another misplay by my side. Uh, so n right now he's got the play. He's got infantry, he's got the um, silent angler, and he can go into spider shock. Now that's a problem because now he can just take um, uh, take actually out this guy, and he also got an infantry, so he can pop. But we're not afraid of the pop as long as we have the carry because we can negate the pop. That's it. So look at this, another monster, but this actually was. Anything we any monster would have been fine actually even if we didn't join monster because we can just polymerization into Millenniumize Restrict that can negate effect so we can swing in and as soon as you activate the effect of spider shock we can use the effect of ice restrict take the the spider shock and we're chilling then he would infantry just popped the Millenniumize Restrict because he thought that he could activate the effect of spider shock but that would have been useless as well because dark cavalry inflicts pressing damage so that's how you do it millenniumize restrict for the win you know these fusion decks are just what i like the most there you go last but not least my rank up duel against ultimate dragons blue eyes and we've got almost the perfect opening why because we have both the polymerization in our hands so we cannot add anything with blazement and we do have the recovery but the problem is that we have only one negation so let's see if we can make it. He's got the Sage, and we can just negate that. So I decided to go for that because Blue Eyes is, you know, commonly is low deck. He's not an ATK one. So there you go. Sage negated a couple of uh, of negation. We're chilling. I mean, because usually Blue Eyes plays a, a trap card backwards that needs discarding, and he only has one card in his hand. So we should be chilling. And in fact, there you go. He activates nothing, but in the end phase, the stone brings out a blue eyes white dragon, and that's totally fine. Then he's got the Karma Cut to uh, banish my uh, cover. I can negate that, but he's got the ultimate providence to negate my negation, and he's chilling right now. He can, he can swing in, and boom. Now, guys, keep in mind that right now with the um, with the skill that we do not have at the moment, we could actually, um, if we draw into a red uh, into a red dice black dragon, we can just make that make that come back to the to the deck and add the red dice fusion. Keep in mind that. So just a necro fusion that is more than fine. So use the effect of the stone to add the uh, the blue eyes white dragon back to hand. Set the back rows attacking and boom necro fusion once again. Second dark cavalry. I could have done also the no I couldn't the buster blade but that's fine. And then he swings in because you know he can't do nothing. Attack charge. Just, you know, just to do it. And it's how you do it, my boy. Dark cover, you know, all those negations that are just so good. As you can see, my rank up right here to legend rank 1. So, guys, that was all for the replays. I hope you enjoyed that. Of course, guys, uh, feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.